Hey friends. All right. So you know that we got this ready pasta at Walgreens today for 50 cents. So Tupi really likes macaroni. So I decided to pull out some ingredients that I already had at home and attempt to make some kind of sort of homemade macaroni and cheese. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try it out. I looked up a few different recipes online and I guess you can pick and choose which ingredients you want to add, but mine is going to be very simple. I will let you guys know how it turns out. I don't eat macaroni, but Tupi and Isaac do, so they're going to be my taste testers. So I'm going to use one of these packages. I probably won't use all of this Colby Jack, and I'm also adding some sharp cheddar. So I am cooking it in a baking dish like this. It's very small, but um, I'm going to first oil or grease, I don't know what you call it, my baking dish here with a little bit of blue bonnet butter. Alrighty, I don't want to touch this, but I think I have it nice and greased. Please don't judge me for the greasing of the pan because, like I said, I'm experimenting with ingredients that I have home. Next up, I'm going to add a cup of milk. We're gonna dump this all in one bowl. I'm only adding one cup. The reason I'm only adding one cup is because I'm not making a lot of macaroni. But again, if you've never made this, you probably don't wanna learn from me. I'm just experimenting. <laughs> in other words, she don't know what she's doing. I uh, she surely don't. Know don't. What she doing. All right, so next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a cup of cheese into here and we're gonna mix it together, but I also need an egg, so I will be right back. <laughs> okay, friends, so I have some Kobe Jack cheese here. It's about three fourths of a cup. Again, if you're not making that much, I don't think you need that much. And then I also have some sharp cheddar cheese. Again, I think you should put whatever kind of cheese you like. I have about a half a cup here, but I am gonna add more sharp cheddar on top before we place it in the oven. I also have a whisked egg here. I will be mixing this, and it is only one egg. I will be mixing it in with this after I mix the cheese. So, next up, I'm going to be adding the cheese in here, and then we're going to just stir this up. Just mixing this. You may or may not need a little bit more milk. It just depends. What I'm going to do is let that sit for a second. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this into the microwave. Again, it only takes 60 seconds. So let's see here. You just kind of open the pouch a little bit halfway, not even halfway, gently. And you heat it for 60 seconds. After that, I will be pouring it into the baking dish. Okay, so while I have the noodles in the microwave for 60 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and mix in the one egg that I have, and we just need to stir this in. Please don't ask me what the egg is for. According to the recipes that I saw online, you just need an egg. And Nat, I know you're going to correct me and tell me what I'm doing wrong, so I'm open to your opinions. Again, guys, I'm just doing this. Thought I'd do something creative with an item that I got for 50 cents and other things that I had already at home. That is nice and creamy. I know you can add some cream to this, but I'm not going to be doing that. I don't have any. And again, I just think you put the ingredients to your likings. Sounds like the noodles are ready. So the noodles are now ready and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and dump them in here again. Oh, sorry about the steam and the fog. So since it's only two people in my house that eat this, I didn't feel like I needed to make two packages of the noodles. I think this is plenty for them and just in case it's not good, <laughs> I didn't waste all the noodles. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add the bowl of ingredients which again. Kobe Jack cheese, cheddar cheese, 
and one whisked egg along with a cup of milk. Gonna spread that in there. So far, it looks like the recipes that I saw online. Some people were making the noodles on the stove and boiling, boiling them, but since we have these already cooked noodles, I figured this was the easiest route to go. Babe, can I get your assistance, please? And by the way, I already had my oven cut on 350 because I actually have steak in the oven. So you might want to preheat your, your oven to 350 before you start this. Can you hold the camera? All right, so I'm just taking the rest of the cheese and putting it in here. I have some assistance for my lovely, handsome cameraman. And this is all nice and evenly spread. And I will go ahead and tell you that the amount of ingredients that I put was just enough as far as the milk with one cup of milk. It was perfect for the size bacon dish that I have. So now what I'm going to do, you guys might want to add maybe like some little bacon chips on here. I'm just going to top it off with a little bit more of the cheddar cheese before I place it in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. Could be a little longer depending on how I see it rising and all of the other good stuff that it does because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe that's about it. Okay friends, I took it out of the oven. I did add some salt and pepper. I should have done that when I mixed everything together. However, I did just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit, a little bit of it um, before I put it in the oven. Sorry, my camera cut off. I had to charge my battery. But if you can see, it's still sizzling. I baked it in the oven. It's been about 25 minutes. And then I felt that I needed to add some more of the shredded cheese. And I just put some on there, left it in the oven for another about two or three minutes. I didn't want to overcook the noodles. That's why I didn't leave it in there for longer. But I'm going to get my son and Tupi to be the taste testers. I don't know what this is supposed to taste like. And I don't know what it's supposed to look like. But if you've never made it before, you have to learn. So yeah, let's get the taste testers. But I'm going to let this cool for just a minute. Because like I said, it just came out of the oven. All this day, mac and cheese. You don't even eat macaroni. <laughs> it's not even for you, so don't even trip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like macaroni. <laughs> now I'm going to ask you three questions. What? Mm, it's me good. Number one, good. why do they look like eggs? Because the thing said to put eggs, so I put eggs. Don't ask me because I don't know what the eggs are for. Did I'm you like get... put multiple Mommy, eggs? I'm a no, just one egg. whisked egg. Mommy, I'm a sidenator. Have you tasted it? I don't eat macaroni. Daddy. Daddy. Isaac's going to be the taste tester. What me? What went wrong? Nothing went wrong. That's what it's supposed to look like? Yeah. <laughs> Tupi's going to be the taste tester. I want you to tell me if it's nasty or if it's good, okay? Okay. Let me blow it. It's hot? Yeah, but I want it to... It does smell good. Tell me if it's hot. Is it hot? Uh, mm -hmm. Good. It's good. Mm -hmm. You like that? What? I mean, she'll tell you if it's nasty. You want to eat a lot of it? Yeah, I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat that. Okay, go tell Isaac to come here. I want Isaac to taste it because he eat macaroni. Isaac's going to like him. You want more? Hi. Let's blow it. Yeah, 
try a piece with extra cheese. Here, let me know what it tastes like. But it's hot. Don't pick it. You got to eat the whole thing because I need to know it's exactly what it tastes like because it's my homemade macaroni. Blow it, it's hot, it's hot. It's not bad. The cheese on, I can see the cheese on top, but like not in the macaroni. Not in the macaroni? But it's not terrible. It's like all cheese and cheese pizza. Like what? Like mini cheese pizza. It's like you only taste the cheese. So there's not, maybe you just got a portion with no cheese. Here. No, I got, it was all cheese. Oh, it was all cheese. It was too much cheese? Mm, there's too much cheese, but like there's no cheese in the macaroni. Like, oh, he mean the, like, it's just separated. The macaroni, you taste macaroni and then just cheese. You yeah. need to melt that cheese down in your dust. But is it like, I want to spit it out nasty? Oh. Okay. Thank you for being the taste tester. So what will you do differently next time? The um, other cheese that we have in the uh, in the refrigerator, that Sargento cheese, like it has like blocks of it. Cut them in little cubes Dad. because I know melt melt Daddy, that and then mix it with the macaroni. No, Daddy, they didn't mix here. it ahead. Of, they didn't mix it. They poured it all in separately. But I Daddy, think because it's here. just shredded cheese, I should have used a cube cheese as well. So that Sargento, it's like little blocks. I'll cut it up in little cubes Daddy. and then place it inside of here and so that it will melt more into it i think i don't know because this is just shredded so would you consider this a fail or no i don't think it's a fail if you are making if you rather this was look man just Daddy, this ain't no competition yes no. or no Daddy. would you serve that to your people Daddy. yeah you would bring this to a, a gathering. Presentation, it doesn't look good, but does it taste Daddy. okay? I don't know. I don't eat macaroni. Wait, if I ate it. Did you cook that on a stove? No, Daddy. in the oven. Oh. Daddy. Tupi says it's good, so it's not a fail. Because Tupi will be honest, and Isaac will definitely Daddy. be honest. Isaac would spit it out. You like it? You going to eat it all? You going to make a happy plate? She loves macaroni, though. Oh my. Well, guys, I made some homemade macaroni. I think, okay, maybe it might have been sort of a fail because I didn't do it 100%. But if you already have those noodles and they cost 50 cents and you already have shredded cheese and milk at home and you just want to make some homemade macaroni for your kids, then I think it's good to do, especially if you are balling on a budget. I guess practice makes perfect, and next time I make it, I'll make it better. But for this, I think it was okay hey, for my first that's, time. Hey, that's, that's the proof of a win right there. Yeah, if she's eating it because she will tell you, ew, it's nasty, I don't like it. She will be the first one. She gives her honest opinion. So, And especially Isaac, he spits out everything. So if Isaac don't like it, he's definitely going to be honest. So if these two cheese eaters like it, then I'm happy. Yep. I did it. It may not look good, so please don't be dropping them comments talking oh, about Oh, they gonna tell you up, girl. Nasty. They gonna tell you up. <laughs>